fantastic. Fantastic. Joe Harris. Thank you, thank you, sir. With the Stone Foundation. Keep on trying. I'm a bit jealous. It's, with you, it's just so, it's just so effortless, isn't it? You, you, you don't even look like you're trying. Well, I'm trying. <laughs> you keeping on trying. <laughs> I'm trying to, I got jet lag and my boy's horse and this and, well, you know, I'm trying to blow it all out so that I can have some jobs for tomorrow night and, uh, I think that sounded fantastic. This is shaping up to be one of the best sessions we've ever had, Joe. I, well, I appreciate that. I thank you. And You're this right. Is, this is the first, uh, in fact, this, this London gig is the first uh, real club gig that I've done in 26 years. Really? Yeah. Everything's been concerts, you mm -hmm. know, 30 minutes and off. Yeah. You know, from the old days, you go do an hour. Mm. You know, and I was used to doing an hour with two guys on the side of me, so I have to try to, I'm, I'm retooling, getting my legs together and things, and these guys have been a great, tremendous help to me, so uh, I think we'll get there pretty soon. You seem like a, like a very a very humble man, Joe. When you, when, you, when, you, when you stepped out of the sort of music business for all those years, um, how did that? How did that make you feel? I mean, because it, it, it looks like you were born on stage. Well, it, yeah, because first of all, you know, people started really not appreciating the music. Uh, they were going to synthesizers and no bands. And uh, when I tried to work, I always worked with musicians. Mm -hmm. Nobody wanted to bring the musicians, so I couldn't bring what I was saying. Mm -hmm. You know, my brand is in that jar, and it's got to have a band. Mm -hmm. You know, so I had a hard time going out trying to. Um, do track dates and things like that. So I started producing other folks. In fact, I uh, uh, produced quite a few folks and uh, did some TV and some movie things. And, mm -hmm. you know, people kept pushing me and saying, you need to go back and do this. So I said, well, I got to find out <laughs> if I can still do this. You know, when you get 70, it gets to be something different. Are you 70? Oh, no. But I mean, you know, you it something know. feels like I've been away for that long. I should be 70. <laughs> You look about 48, <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, I'm 47, I'm not being kind. Okay. Uh, we, uh, last year we um, uh, resold uh, uh, each band that came in the studio did a, um, did a, uh, to do a session, did a track off Michael Jackson's Off The Wall album, which we all think was probably Michael Jackson's finest hour. Right. You spent how long touring with the Jackson 5? 90 days. 90 days touring. With, what are your memories of Michael as a young man? Um, very inquisitive. See what I mean by having a crazy life? <laughs> See, I'm telling you, you know, I mean, I think, and you know, I have to say that that was the highlight of my whole career. <laughs> yeah. You know, I've seen so many things. And then, you know, I started when I was 10. Mm -hmm. And being around and opening for uh, um, uh, a young group, you know, it was, it was very rewarding. It was very educating. And it was a challenge because every other act that Motown had put there to open, mm -hmm. When the shows was on, the kids was in the audience saying, we want the Jackson 5, we want. <laughs> That's very hard to do your show. Oh, terrible. <laughs> so, you know, and we had a number one record, so that made it easy. And these two fine ladies standing up there with me, I was like, cool. <laughs> <laughs> but the Jackson 5s, they were, they, you know, they were, Michael was very, and uh, Randy, they were very, very inquisitive. Mm -hmm. Wanted to know everything and how you do this, how you got that, what this and what's that. And I was like, you know. That's how you learn. That's how you learn. You ask questions, yeah. Listen, what we're going to change a plan. We're going to play one more song, then we're going to uh, go to the news, then we're going to come back and have a Good. little bit of a chat, and then one, one last song off you, okay? That's great. Because the news is going to get in the way. What are you going to play for us next? Can't get right.